Yo, what it do? We back at it again. It's the Roundtable Podcast, man. And we back at this episode, man. This episode is um, a little different, man. It's a little... My man's in them going to call it... What we going to call it? First and foremost, we need to let that be known to the culture. Uh, comfortable. Being uncomfortable. You got to get used to being comfortable being uncomfortable. Yo, this is what we gonna name this podcast and this show today, man, because this episode is is definitely the grind. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm here today giving my man his flowers, man. Um, this young king has done some great things, man. You've done some great things, king, and I salute you, you for what you have done. And we not just talking just some things. We've done some great things. And, um, yo, congratulations on your success. Thank you, man. Um, you've been a blessing. And I say that with all due respect because you've been blessing the community, you've been blessing the te- people, the culture, great music, great products. So, yo, it's only fitting to have you here today, man. And I, I thank you for bringing me down to your location. Now, I'm going to call this the hideout. You know what hideout. I mean? Because Lord knows if you walk past here, you never know. I'm not going to give you the location. <laughs> I know. Yeah, we ain't dropping locations. We ain't though. doing yeah, that. Ain't but I'm just saying it's a thousand yard and walk past this motherfucker yeah. and never knew that this was in the building. So... Yo, welcome to the round table, King. Thank you, man. man introduce Glad yourself, here, let the man. people know who you are, man. Give them a small introduction of that crack you've been putting out over these years. Uh man, uh, I I'm Ra, go by R. E. Rajay, whatever you wanna call me. Uh music producer, engineer, uh entrepreneur, DJ, you know, just overall, you know what I mean, humble. Just work, man. Just music, mu- uh, uh, doing doing everything I can possibly do, man. You know what I'm saying for the music, for the culture, um, for the community, for the community. Cause you, I always see you doing things out in Inglewood. You know what I'm saying, posting that, right. keeping us, you know, aware of what's going on. Cause some of us don't be knowing these certain situations, right. on little out, um, outside activities, man. Um, but yo, King, let's, you know. You born and raised Inglewood too. Let's let, 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 let the people know that this is Inglewood. <laughs> born you know and mean? raised Inglewood Hospital, man. Nine oh one. Born at night, not last night, man. You know what I'm saying? So, Inglewood Hospital. I went to every school, graduated from every school in Inglewood. I mean, Vincent K. Tips, Qualls, Cleveland <laughs> School, Cleveland School before. It was, it's Greco, you know what I'm saying? Cleveland Elementary you didn't, School. You didn't make it to Lincoln. Oh, no, nah, I did went to Lincoln School. That before was before they, they chopped yeah, everybody right, down and took right. the whole side of the, the city over to the other joint. Right, you know okay. what I'm saying? So, Dwight Maher been there before they had the academies. And then they split all of them and brought the academies over there. Now, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's actually the academies now, so to speak. So, I've been here for a long time, man. You've been doing your thing, man. For a long and, time, uh, man. That's why we're here today, because... I felt like it's, you know, like I told my man Rob earlier, yo, I've been watching. And this is with everybody. I, you know, some people throw me alley oops and I pay attention and I might not miss, but I've been watching, you know what I mean, for a while, champ. And you've done a lot of great things, man. Musically, on the business side, like, and you, you never really ran around with this, yo, this is what I'm doing type of mentality. Every time I see you, it's, yo, what's up, King? What's up? It was always just like low key reserved, but also you also put it in people's face a little bit like, yo, I'm also doing this, so don't get it twisted. Right. But before we get into all the stuff that was created, how did it start for the rock? Like when did you get into the music game, kid? What year? What was that song? What was that era? That time? Um, Cause you're younger than me, so we in a different time bracket. Right. Well, I'm 34, so I started making beats at 13, 14. Right. So. 34, 13, 14, that's 20 years I've been really making beats or, or, or just in music involved. Uh, me and one of my best friends, we started making beats together. This was Fruit of Loops like two. We on version 20 right now, you know what I'm saying? So this is how far it kind of goes back to that. We started with that. Um, at this time, I was with my grandmother, living with my grandmother and my mom, but my mom was like, you know, Running around doing what she do. I'm a grandma's boy, period. You know, what I'm, okay. I'm one of them. Oh, you going to your grandma's house? You know what I'm saying? And I had to figure everything out at my grandma's house. My grandma would tell you I used to make studios out of bushes in the backyard. Like literally, like I'm 15, 16 years old, putting pictures inside of a bush to 
put making the studio chairs and all kinds of brown little like so I, I already always had that passion for music I there was nothing else that I wanted to do in fact what really started me off mind you me growing up under you know people like my I call my uncle Big Bub you know what I'm saying seeing him in his career every time he come around being around Scoochie um, Sugar Hill Gang, seeing them. I mean, I really went to the Sugar Hill studio before, it, you know what I'm saying, as a young boy, you know what I'm saying, being around them, seeing that. Seeing Ronald Osley walk around, you know what I'm saying, right. the city. Seeing Mario come around here, you know what I mean, dancing. I've been around and seen all, seeing Lady Luck be on the battle, seeing Sirius Jones, you know what I'm saying, all these people that kind of I look at, and even on the a uh, 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 preacher side on the church side because once I did kind of transition from making beats you know here and there at at the house locally then my mom actually got deep into church she became a pastor and I became a music ministry mm -hmm. I had to I started playing the drums at 13 14 in church with my grandmother but you know in church you can only do every fourth Sunday children church <laughs> I want to play every first Sunday the communion where people right. That's yeah, where everybody packed that. Yeah, like they were giving me the. So I would be on the blocks. Me and Ron Faison started together. Okay. This is Ron Faison first. You know what I mean? On it, he'll tell you too. You know what I mean? They used to put me on the blocks. You know what I mean? So I, I would stand behind people like Ron Faison and other musicians as I went to different churches and picked up how to play the keys. Nobody really never taught me. So you didn't go to school for none of this? No, I did. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't. That's not how it started. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, like right. I went to school to elevate it. But God had already anointed me for something already, you know what I mean, beyond that. Because a lot of a lot of the a lot of the training came from church. I keep it a beam. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's a where a lot training, of musicians start at. Most of the best ninety percent of people that's in the game. Most of the R and B. Most of the best singers, you know what I'm saying, uh musicians and all kinds of come from the church because there's a, a specific anointing, I would call it, or a specific gift that God gives you that is Irreplaceable and it's soulful, soulful. You know what I'm church, saying? Church, or you know how the black church is. We're very soulful. A Pentecostal non-denominational church goes crazy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Any it, given Sunday. Any given Sunday. I mean, wow, you. It's. It's. You know what I'm saying? You got to be able to. You know what I mean? Keep like up. That. Right. But for me, I always have my own rhythm. You know what I'm saying? I never was the best organist or nothing like that. Even if somebody, I didn't know notes. So if. I, it was times I would play. It's like Nick Cannon on Drumline. I can hear it and play it, but then mm. if somebody be like, B flat minor, oh, it's over. You're done. I'm done. It's Chinese. I, I went to school. Again, I went to Rampo College in New Jersey. Uh, contemporary arts degree with a minor audio engineer. Mm. Right? I did extra work to learn how to do this, but God didn't give me that ability, I feel like, to, to read it. And learn it a different, the, the normal way. You need to learn it in the way you need to learn. Right. That's you what makes I'm you special with your gift and your right. talent. Right. And that's 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 where, you know, it kind of transpired. But me doing that, um, again, it started from the church. And then me playing for different different churches, different bishops. I mean, Donnie McClurkin, uh, Kim Burrell. These is mega gospel artists. Wow, that's under your list, huh? You know what I'm saying? Like playing for them. Or, uh, or just playing behind them, you know what I'm saying, and just learning from them, learning different what's it called that when I when it was my time to be fully in the music industry, I kind of I was already ahead of the game, right? Ear wise, training right. wise, and just you know what I mean. It's not just a nigga just come in and just bring your laptop and clicking in the beat. I can teach you that. I can teach you that. You know what I mean? Because it's That's just a software. Yeah. Okay. And there's no shade or no respect, no disrespect to anybody who does that. Because I, I support all musicians, all kinds of musicians. But there is tears. Mm. I understood that. I couldn't At a just, young age. At a young age. You know what I'm saying? I knew that from Soul Train. Mm. That's what originally, originally I wanted to do. I wanted to be one of the dancers on Soul Train. Mm. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Especially the nigga with the hair. The nigga with the hair always did some backflip. Other kind so of you caught, shit. Yourself, you caught the new generation of soul of the train. We, right. me and Low, go back to that. Wasn't doing that in the beginning. Yeah, they were. They wasn't. That's they, that's right. where I seen it. Like that's when I kind of came in when they they started just doing the train. Like the right. 
So that for me was like, yo, I always wanted to do that. And then from seeing that, being that, I just seen different artists. Big Bub come up on it. You know what I mean? Like just from that moment on, it just showed me that I can do it. And I'm tell you, I'll keep it being right now. Big Bub is one of my biggest inspirations of looking and, and being like, yo, we can do this from the city. You know what I mean? Exactly from the city. It doesn't matter, you know what I'm saying, where. But that's one of my biggest inspirations growing up looking at him do it and making it seem like make, making me feel like it's definitely possible you know okay. what i'm saying okay so respect to big bub too because he's definitely facts. one of our legends out here in inglewood doing his thing and the, the group today let's not even front on the group yes. as well you the know what i mean today. shout out to the fellas doing their thing because exactly. they definitely did they thing definitely did they thing for sure um for, well let me um when did it now we done got past church mm -hmm. You find you done found yourself. When did you say, yo, I'm gonna make this my full time? Um, I always had it in my mind that this was gonna be full time, but it just wasn't the right time. I think people need to understand the difference between that is like knowing the right time to move forward in something is super key. You know what I'm saying? Because it was a place in my life, it was a time and a place in my life where I needed to work. I needed to have a job, you know what okay. I mean? A legitimate job to do certain different things. I needed that, you know what I'm saying? But then it got to a place where it was like, all right, are we going to do this, do this, or are we not? And I'm going to tell you, the, 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 the interview that kind of changed everything for me was Dame Dash Breakfast Club. The first time he was on The Breakfast Club, when he was saying he was like, are you just hustling for a weekend? He said, can your kid come in here and uh, uh, get some money and put money out? He was talking to Envy on the breakfast club. Yeah. Can, you, can your kid come and pull some, oh, what are we doing? I'm not hustling. He's hustling for his last name, not his first name. That moment, I felt like, you know what? I need to hustle for my last name. You know what I'm saying? I need to go hard and build a legacy. Because at the time, I didn't have kids, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have, you know what I mean, a, a son. Now I have a son. But at the time, I knew that I was going to have a son. And I knew I had to be something for him, you know what I'm saying, so that he can be able to look up to, you know what I'm saying, and see, like, yo, that's, that. as opposed to going to work, that's honorable. You know what I mean? Not saying it's not honorable. No, I, I you understand know what where saying? you're coming from because at the end of the day is, you know, not to cut you off, but you just made a great point. You know what I mean? I'm going to bring it back to that real quick because you said you wanted to build a legacy. You didn't even have kids at the point. Right. A lot of people think, well, you know, now I got a child, let me build a legacy. Mm -hmm. You were thinking ahead, three years ahead. Facts. You know what I'm saying? A lot of, a lot of us don't think that far even about stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not going to lie. When I, had, when I had my first, I really wasn't thinking about it. Like, I'm like, oh, wow, I'm about to have a kid. But at the same time, I'm turning 21. Mind state is totally different, but I'm not honestly thinking at 18 to build a legacy for my oldest at the, you know what I mean? Because right. my mind wasn't there. It right. was just on what it was, what we were doing, what we was up to, what, what life was about at the time. Mm -hmm. But for you to be thinking that, yo, that's, that's, that goes to show us and it shows me that you were a little bit before your time. Because at the end of the day, everybody's not, yo, I'm going to build something, my legacy. And without no kids. Mm -hmm. You was already planting seeds, champ. Right. And you already said you knew you was going to have a son and wound up having a young king. Right. So those seeds were being planted, rooted, you fertilizing them. By you going out there on your hustle and making it your full time, mm -hmm. you fertilize that seed. Right. And I, I ain't going to lie, to, to, to piggyback off of that last statement as far as making it, not only was it just the Dame Dash situation, but... Then I went through a personal tragedy situation in my life that kind of made me push me. And this is where we come back to the title of this. I was uncomfortable. So I had to like adjust to certain different things. Um, being transparent with y'all, you know what I mean, with the podcast. I'm from Inglewood. My aunt Tammy Pitts and Natasha Gaddy was brutally murdered. You know what I'm saying? My aunt was stabbed 11 times. We found him. My, my six-year-old cousin was found downstairs with a plastic bag overhead in her school clothes. You understand what I'm saying? That moment right then and there. This is, mind you, we all got our own gangster aunts. We all got a, the, the, the aunts, your favorite aunts, favorite cousins, one of them. We all got them. She was that. 
She was the reason why I get up and do certain things. You know, we have the, that that thing. Oh, I want to get my mom a crib. Everybody got goals to why you doing certain things. Right. You know what I mean? Like that was one of my goals to make sure that she get it because she always supported my dreams. She was. We found them with the murderer. You know what I'm saying? Goes to court, lose the trial. Feel me? So that moment, I had an option to. I had steppers to want to step, or I can make a decision and be something because my platform just became greater because of that. Nobody else in my family could talk at the Community Baptist Church with 3,000 in attendance, news cameras and all that. Me, I'm the only one. You know what I'm saying? I'm the voice of the family. I'm the one. I'm, I, I figured that out already. So I understand why I got to take harder hits than everybody else. I understand why I go through a lot more than everybody else in the family. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm the one. You know what I mean? The voice. Right. So when you understand that, that's why I come down here and pray every day. I don't start this day. I don't start my day off without praying and spending time in God's presence. It's not that I got to put a collar on, get the anointing oil and sprinkle everything on. You ain't got to do all that. But you just put... Your you own little music going, yeah. You just meditate. It's a relationship, like with anybody else. Right. It's a relationship. And then from that moment on, he gave me clarity to go to Atlanta. And from Atlanta, is that's where, you know, what I mean, a lot of my things happen. Where in the music industry, where it shaped me to to who I am today. You know what I'm saying? Just taking that initial step was either I was going to do something now. I, I I wouldn't have been here talking to you. Because at that moment, this is two girls I lost. What Anybody, you know what I mean? Any real dude, what you going to do? I feel you. I definitely you know what I'm saying? your pain because that definitely shook Ingle with a party. You feel me? Like, and, and, that's something, and that's something that I'm never proud about because we took losses. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody else taking no girls. A nigga hit, you, a nigga hit your wife or something like that. You know you ready to go up. Now imagine the, what I've seen. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Two caskets and one service is crazy. You know what I mean? So I'm not even supposed to be here even having this conversation. Music, what? That's why it's, it's bigger. Music, this is bigger than just what I, my accolades. We can come in here and I can just drop all the names that I like working with. But this, for me, this podcast is just to let people be encouraged. Because a lot of people who's not encouraged out there because they're going through life situations and you can't even focus on your career, you can't even focus on your passion because you so much discouraged. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm here to tell you, I'm a testimony. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to tell you that you can go through the most you can go through. You can go through some of the tragedies things and turn around and come right out if you move and you and you move on according to God and you do what you're supposed to. You be honorable. So, you know what I mean? That, I know we kind of... Not you know, went off, but you know, go off that was like, yo, that was, listen, somebody need to hear that. For real, man, you know, you know what I'm saying? So it's never, we never go off nothing here. We just vibing, and that's what makes this podcast what it is. And when you got brothers like you, young, and you're not afraid to talk about, because, you know, at one point, Cash ain't really too big on talking about God and praying. You're like, yo, now everybody kind of doing it it's like it's a fad. Mm -hmm. But the passion that you just spoke to our listeners for, they need to hear that. So it touched somebody because at the end of the day, a lot of people don't understand that we all have our own personal shit. Absolutely. Yeah, I was telling my man, we all deal with mental illness. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we was, in, you know, like everybody, oh, I got, nah, we all, everybody has that because everybody tolerates different things. Right. So you might be like, yo, you sick for dealing with that. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To me, that's a mental illness for you. Like, nah, I can do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you just, yo, man, I, I needed, you know, I'm glad this whole room was anointed just now because that was God talking to somebody. And I felt that, you know what I'm saying, bro? So, That's real. You know what I mean? And, and my I just gotta be, I just got to be honest, man, because a lot of times people get up here on podcasts and places and not really tell where. Because they caught up in an image. You right. Know, we live in this, right now is image. We imaged out. Like, let's get it real. You ain't got this image. You ain't it. Right. So you know until you just, until, until that until that image is locked up on recall right, charges. Right. Now, now we asking the same it. help. The same help, but we could have just asked the same help for you know what I mean, and just to give clarity on what you need to do or where you need to be. That's just really my. That's what I really really learned in this whole process of everything that I go through. You know what I'm saying? You can do as much churches. You can your family can bring church. You can do whatever you want. Like God can bless you. I only found I only became closer to God when He gave me everything I wanted. 
everything I asked for. Yeah. I asked to be a platinum producer. He gave me that. You know what I mean? I asked to be the number one. I walked around for the whole year saying I'm top 100. Call me top 100. Everybody in the studio in Atlanta can, can test. I, I, I was playing, but I wasn't playing. I'm like, yo, call me top. That's my new name, top 100. And then, sure enough, number one on the Billboard charts. You know what I'm saying? Pretty girls like trap music. You know what I mean? Just speaking things into existence, praying every day. Playing that scene. Playing like that scene. Before. You're right. Being humbled, like keeping an ego to the point where it's like, yo, a lot of people got to want to do stuff for you. Most of the time in this music industry, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of producers, young producers that all they do is just placements, 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 play. They just striving to get placements, but their life ain't right. Their not, life ain't right to even receive that. You know what I mean? People don't even know the struggles that you even go through being a producer, being this. They see the artist, the, the behind the scenes person who make the artist who they, people, the, the, you don't go to the club to hear no acapellas. You don't. Yeah, you're right. You don't go to the club to hear acapellas. You're absolutely damn right about but, that. But, but you can go to the club and hear nothing but beats. Feel me? So that tells you how important this is, but then people don't know how important this is because people not really doing it fully. You taking you, is 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 like you. I, I get a computer, I get Logic on there or Fruit Loops, and now I'm a beat maker. My boy, I just took 20 years to get here. Yeah, I don't took know, losses. It's, it's, the time is different too now. Everything yeah. is accessible. It's not the grind like it was. Absolutely. Even before you, when you had to go get the vinyl. Absolutely. You know, and go find it at record shops. And you know what I'm saying? All that stuff is going. Everything is touch a button, press a click, and we in the building. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, but the hustle still stay the same. But everybody don't have the hustle because the hustle is not as hard. That's the difference. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the real difference. You know, like you said, yo, early you was in there with your shirt off, nigga. I, mm -hmm. I want to get hot. I want to get funky. Yo, right. everybody don't want to do that when you can just press a button and have your pajamas on. You know what right. I'm saying? But let's talk about the Atlanta run. Mm -hmm. You get to A. What year is it? This was... I, yo, I'm so bad with years and numbers and dates and all kinds of stuff. So this had to be like at least... Early 90s? Let's no, 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 no. It was like... Six, seven years ago. One, okay. six years ago. I was right. in Atlanta for three and a half years. Olympia. Okay, so now we in the A. So we, now we in the A. You set up shop. Shout out to my boy, Sauce Lord Rich from FKI. You know what I'm saying? He opened the door. That's one of my best friends. You know what I'm saying? He saw what I was going through out here, and he offered me, extended me to come to the A. Um, he had a studio situation, so, you know what I mean? I, I was living in the studios anyway, sleeping on couches, so I came, and I... You know what I mean? Part homeless sometimes, you know what I mean? And just sleeping on floors and all kinds of just to make my way in Atlanta. I had to sweep up. Like, it was mad different. It wasn't like you just come into Atlanta. Because mind you, I'm not just coming to Atlanta on some local shit. Just starting, you know what I mean? I'm coming straight to the mountain, mountain pot. Going straight to Grand Hustle Studio. It's T.I. Studio. Mm. So I get off the plane, go straight to T.I. Studio. You know what I'm saying? So at that moment, I meet Kevin Gates. Migos, everybody, you know what I'm saying? It's, at this moment, it, it was like the beginning stages of Atlanta when it was really, really on fire. Okay. So everybody's I was there. Everybody's cooking. Everybody's cooking. Migos is out. You know, like, this is before, you know what I'm saying, all of that. So, you know what I mean? Shout out to my man, Sauce Lord Rich. He opened the door um, for me. Shout out to T.I., you know what I mean, for opening the studio. Him and B. Rich and Stroud and KD. These people was a part of the Atlanta career where they could have just been like nah go back to jersey bro you know what i mean but instead they work with me when i ain't have much you know what i mean when i wasn't even making the beats that they was making down there mm. i come down there with the new york soul like bah, nah. the samples and stuff they like ah we need 808 brother you know what i mean right. they, you know what i'm saying so now you we, to, now you got to find yourself in that now right? i had to find myself in that and then mind you i went down there as a producer i wasn't so much savvy as a engineer like that the first session I had, they I got thrown in a session with with an artist, and I had to go to the bathroom to YouTube how to record real quick. You know what I'm saying? Like they put me in a session with a, with an artist. I ain't gonna say the artist's name, but they put me in a session with the artist, big artist. And he asked me to record. I didn't know how to record efficiently. Mm. It's a difference between you recording yourself at home, and it's a difference between you. Recording 
a real artist who has, you know what I mean, got punch-ins, you got to know what you're doing. You know what I mean? So, for me, that Atlanta um, kind of opened that door for me to kind of be a little bit more on the production uh, engineering side because I was staying at the studio. I had to give up something. I had to do something. So, you got to record, nigga, if you sleep in here. You got to do something. One hand wash the other, both wash the same face. We ain't going to just be, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, I contributed by doing that. Or, if, I, if people went on tour, my first tour, I became a DJ for an artist named Zeus. He went on tour with Lil Durk. This is my first tour, Lil Durk and Gunplay and Zeus mm. as a DJ. I just, first year in Atlanta, Lil Durk is the biggest thing smoking right now. I done, we done, you know what I'm saying? Feel me? Like, that's how God will work. Now, let me speed it back. If I would have stepped when I was in Jersey and did bad things, just that moment right then and there showed me what God was trying to do. You know what I mean? And it was just like, all right, let me, let me focus up. Let me go harder. Anytime, any, anything that anybody need me to do, I'm going to do it. You need me to be a DJ? You already know what it is. DJ, our son got weed in the building. Let's go. Like, oh, shit. Like, that's the, this nigga's, you know what I'm saying? You need me to make a beat? All right, cool. You need me to go in there and sing? Cool. Shit. If you need me to get behind the camera, I know how to take pictures, too. You got to be, be able to be an asset, and that's what I was. So it got me in certain doors. Right. Now you expanded. Now I'm expanding. And the relationships was super important. I went, I didn't go down there being a normal New York nigga. I'm from up top. You know, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, New York, I know everything. No, it, it don't, they not, nah, I went down there. What can I do? Yeah, like, what's up? What we, what, what, how can I contribute? What you need? Boom. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, no. Nah. I'm Millie rocking. T.I. T. called me Lil Diddy. Because I come in not even promoting my stuff. Just Bill come in to the, to the, to the, to the, to the studio session, just giving energy, good energy. Right. When everybody's in there stale, trying to be hardcore, trying to show off, I come in there, hey, hey, hey. niggas like, oh yeah, now nah, we need this, yeah, we need this. That's how you do build relationships, showing people that you're an asset, not just a burden. Right. Because people could be a burden just being around you with their energy, with they. That's a whole nother topic. Whole nother topic. But so now you you grinding though. Mm -hmm. When is that uh the opportunity where now is I'm not I'm I'm more situated. Like I'm not no more just sleeping on the couch in the studio. I'm I'm situated now because now I'm, I'm flourishing. Um I mean I had many of the moments where it was like, but I stayed sleeping on the studio floor. Okay. Even when I was good even when i had i was up twenty thirty thousand. i could have went and got an apartment in buckhead but i felt like i would just have an apartment in buckhead it i would never be there like doesn't even matter so it's like you just put them seeds i the stay in the studio i feel uncomfortable if i'm not in the studio even to this day it's like i gotta come down here I'm down here 9 a.m every day i come back three six throughout the day i go home check my you know what i mean i just this is a part of my life where if I don't do it, even just sitting out here, just listening to music or whatever, it just don't feel right. You know what I mean? And I kind of trained myself for even just staying up late. There was times I had sessions to 8 in the morning. Everybody off lean. You know how, how hard that is to record niggas <laughs> on lean? At 8 in the morning? Come on now. Like, this is what I'm saying. People don't understand the back end thing to it. It's, it's, it's way more pressure. I've been in shootouts. You know what I mean? Well, God saved my life out there. You know what I'm saying? When Lil Dirk tour bus got shot out, I was on tour with him. You know what I mean? It was in Atlanta. In Orlando. We was out there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? God preserved my life at that time. You know what I mean? So, it's just been mad different situations, but I've never not felt like I was able to just be, because I'm always doing something. I'm always working. If it wasn't DJing, I then boom, I work with Akbar V, who's was on Love and Hip Hop. We was doing Love and Hip Hop. We DJing up. We, my second tour was K Michelle tour. Mm. You know what I'm saying? DJing for her. So it was never a time. You just stayed in the in the mix. Though. I just they kept myself in the mix, and that's what one producer his producer told me. He was, I always in the studio was kept getting brain freeze. I'm like, damn, I, I make beats all day. It was like after a while, I was like, you know what I'm saying? You just making like sometimes you might feel like you're making the same thing. Right, you make so much repetitive. Right, 
Like, yo, what do you do to keep making better music? It's, all you gotta do is get up and walk around. That's it. Just get up, go walk around the building, move your feet. And and I use that, apply that in my career. When you feel stagnant in what you're doing, all you gotta do is get up and move your feet. Go to another studio, go network with somebody else, go to another event, go see what's going on. You might have a door there, you know what I mean? An opportunity there, because God give us the doors and we just look at the shit like, all right, well, it's red. I want the shit to be blue, so I ain't going to walk through it. No, you know what I mean? We got to be ready to walk through all doors and, and be an asset in every door that you walk through. Because at the end of the day, you're going to look back and be like, yo, I need uh, needed all them doors to become who I am today. So every door that I walked through, every person that helped me became who I am today, and I ain't, to me, I ain't even, I got way more work to do, I got way more, you know what I mean, stuff to do, but, for the most part, you know what I mean, I can't complain. Why should you, because at the end of the day, your accomplishment speaks for itself. First of all, your energy. First of all, your mentality, too. And to have that mentality being young, yo, that carries you, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? A lot of people fail to realize respect is everything. They can love you and kill you at the same time. That's a fact. But if he respects you, he'll think twice about doing something to you. You know what I'm saying? And for you to go down there, first of all, with God on your mind, God in your heart, mentality, I'm going out here, I'm going to get it. Your people's already opening the door. But also the mentality of I got to stay busy. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, I'm not going to be a leech. I'm going to be helpful. That's a Brothers fact. don't always want to be helpful. Like, let's be clear. Uh, we, our fact. skin tone. I, I don't know. I ain't That's being that. I ain't nah, man. That's I got to let niggas know who I am. That's a fact. And that, blow peep, that blows our shit up because you so busy getting caught up trying to let people know who you are. When they like, yo, you ain't got to do all that, champ. Just sit back, man. We, we can tell. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. So let me talk about Sun for a minute. Let's talk about that plaque, man, with Mr. Chains, man. How did that whole thing come about? Oh, that plaque? Oh, man. That How do people know what album that is, too, and where is it going? Oh, oh man, that's pretty girl like trap music, man. It's on their way to double platinum, man. Um, by the grace of God, man. Double platinum producer. Double platinum, man. It's Two producer. million. Yep, producer. OG Kush Diet. Um, Co produced it with my man Sauce Low Rich. Um, but that, 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 how that whole record and everything came about was just truly like God ordained, so to speak. Because we actually gave that record to somebody else to another artist and another artist had a whole video and everything going on to it already so it was crazy that you know what I mean we sent that beat by accident mm. feel me so it's like we came by accident we get a voice note back from Chains like he rapping on the show we got pop to put this on the drink I was like oh I had to go back to the dude I'd be like yo bro Sorry, I'm gonna have to make you another beat, man. Change what this for the album? Like, what you mean? Mind you, this is the biggest thing smoking in the He had the pink trap house. Everything in the city was just the pink trap house at the time. So, um, it was a no brainer. Even yeah. though it was a mistake, it was a no brainer. Like, yo, we yeah. need, we need that Playboy. Yeah, you know what I mean. But especially me. That was my. That's my biggest placement. That I. I mean, like, as far as you know, what I mean, what I it does. Mean. Like that's to me like that plaque wise or number wise that's the biggest. You know what I mean? It's inspirational wise, I have other placement that you know what I mean is a little bit more meaningful, but um that one definitely was a, a specific thing. And not to mention, um my when I told you my 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 baby cousin was murdered. You know what I mean? She was murdered and the week before she died, right? I'm gonna tell you how crazy this is. This is exclusive for the Roundtable podcast, right? <laughs> right? Crazy. The week before she passed, she stayed the night with us, right? And she, we got it on camera. She was dancing the two chains. I'm different. That was the last, the the, the the album before the one I was on. She dancing to the, I'm different. When she passed away, that's how she came up every time. I don't know if people understand or believe in supernatural beings or like, ghost or what have you like i'm not crazy bro you know what i mean <laughs> i'm not i'm not on drugs you know what i mean i'm not none of them i understand the power of the spiritual realm right you know what i'm saying so every time i'll be somewhere in a it, it, it will be like this and the 
2 chains come on. I'm different. I have never played it myself, but it'll just pop on. That'll tell me that's Tay Tay coming on. Fast forward a year later, I'm on the album. Pretty girls like trap music. That was all God ordained. It had nothing to do, because if it was something totally different, I was working with other artists too. Sire the Prince, T.I., Stolly, you know what I'm saying? Like, a bunch of other people. But for that to be like, that was a little bit more special. And that's why when I got the plaque, I brought it back home. You know what I'm saying? And I, I reverenced them. I brought it back to the where they was murdered at. You know what I'm saying? And let them see that. Because I felt like they, they did that for me. And that's my God honest truth. You know what I mean? So you believe in divine intervention? I believe in divine intervention. I've seen it too many times. I was too close to them. You know what I mean? When you're too close to somebody, it's not something that I can peep it. I can feel the energy. I can, you know what I mean? It's just certain things that we talked about that nobody else would know. That it's something that happened to do. You know what I mean? It's just like you can tell. You know what I mean? So that was like, that's what I feel like, you know, that was like the changing point you know what i'm saying because it was like all right now i'm on a big number one i'm on the number one record um in number the, one album in the in, world in the country. country rap number one rap in the country you know we how got different that, how long was that on the billboard uh i believe two and a half weeks number one but it no it was number one for two and a half weeks but it would it was on a billboard for, know, maybe like top 10 for maybe five six weeks we beat out damn kendrick Lamar. You know, a couple of other people. So that that was a definitely accomplishment. You know what I mean at the time, but it was more so just the the situation. It wasn't no disrespect to change nah, at all. It, you know what I mean? But it was it, yeah, like, it, it was, was what it was. It was God's plan. Because I was I mean, not supposed to do that. It was the year what it before was, that. Man. I'm I'm celebrating the death. You know what I mean? And the year next to that, I'm I'm bringing. But you know what? You got to think about something though. Look at the song that was being played at the time that she was dancing to. I'm different. Mm -hmm. You went to the A totally different than the average New Yorker. Mm -hmm. You know, the whole thing, I'm about to take you to a journey real quick. Mm -hmm. The song represents you who you are. You went down there a whole nother, not the average cat. Right. You wanted to be more of a help instead of being the voice. Right. That was, was that was definitely it. I, I didn't. Was I wasn't a contributor. Even, yeah, I wasn't trying to go you down wasn't there. Wasn't trying to. Yo, this is who I am. Yeah, I'm I was from not there. I'm from nah. This is what, what can I do? What was up? I what just needed doing? to change the scenery and how can I help? You know what I mean? And being that, it was it. Another thing is like you people can help you and you and let you down though. At the same time though, too, it's like, um, it's like. How can I put the gift it? and the curse. Right, it's like the gift and the curse. You know what I mean? Because you have people that will say they'll do something for you and then spin the whole narrative. You know what I mean? So it's like you may do something for me, but then you do some fuck shit. You know what I mean? And kind of, there's no expiration date for being a real nigga. That's just period. You know what I mean? If you're going to be real, you're going to be real all the way through. If I bring somebody in here and I train them, and I say, yo, I'm going to help you get to a certain place in your life. I expect to, when I get you in that certain place in your life, that I still be who I am. I don't, shouldn't be like, oh, try to, I put you on, B. But, you know, that's Feel also, me? you know, it goes back to what we were talking about, too. It's the, it, it's the, it's the game. Yeah. It's the game. We live in a time of image. Everybody got to have this image. Mm -hmm. So I got to keep this, instead of letting, the, now the ego take, that ain't nothing but really the ego mm -hmm. talking. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, if you bless me, yo, yo, all right, I appreciate that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I'm not asking you to keep blessing me, but yo, let's keep rocking if the chemistry is there. Especially in the music game. Right. You know what I'm Facts. saying? That game is sort of a, a, a marriage. It's a cult. It's like the cartel. For real. Once you in it, and I'm, I'm telling this for all of the young brothers that's in there, and they watch the podcast, and they watch stuff. Once you, it's not, once you in it, like it's a certain you have to sustain yourself period is i couldn't at this moment i couldn't go and work at dunkin donuts feel me like i done did and there's nothing don't get me wrong with nothing towards the people that work and go to, yeah, dunkin, donuts. to dunkin donuts my son Facts. works there I, right now he's a I young love, man he i love the right hash now. browns you know what i'm now, saying now like, i know what you I I I understand what you're saying you know what i mean i worked at popeyes i done did 
You feel me? I'm just saying once you people people work so hard to get to a certain place in this music industry that you really don't understand the back end to it. Is what I'm saying to you is that I you can't just you can't just like, you know what I mean, go backwards. You know what I mean? You have to be full, full. Yeah, but like, everybody's not built to go the long distance. Let's be clear. That's everybody don't want to run the marathon. They want to run the race. That's a fact. But then you can tell in their in their results, in their careers, where they at. You know what I'm saying? Because it the people, Quincy Jones didn't make thriller till he was fifty. Right. And he went but he ran the marathon. Right. He did mad other stuff prior to that. But his biggest record was fifty at fifty years old. That was a long time ago. You know what I mean? We in a time and an era where everybody wanted to be microwaved. Like, oh, boom. that's why I said they want to run the race. But also, let me tell you something about that Quincy Jones thing a lot of people don't know. Is that Thriller was already out. He ain't like the song in Sanaa. We yeah. not doing that. We they took it. the beat, remade on something mm -hmm. else. A lot of people don't know that. You know what I'm saying? And then Thriller wound up being a goddamn monster. So at the Fact. time, he ain't even believed that was going to be the head. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? And that just goes to show you, you it ain't your know. timing. It's God's timing, really. That's and a, I, that's I only say too. that, I only say all that because this is what we kind of been streaming on the whole time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We vibing and it's real because honestly, before the lights and the cameras was on, we was on this type of time anyway, that's just by fact. kicking it as three men. So as the interview is just progressing, it's like, yo, it, everything is God's time. People don't realize that. It's not your time. It's God's time. That's, that's when you're in tune with him, though. That's and then exactly. you understand that, but when you're not in tune, okay, it is what it is. You being in tune with him, he kind of, you believed, and the journey just kept going. Right. You know what I'm saying? But now we come into the part where the devil brain comes in now, because he's always coming. Yep. The devil, the devil be in a lot of different situations, man. And he presents himself the most beautifulest thing in the world. Fact. Facts. He, he, he. He comes as your friends, you know what I'm saying? People that you put on, people that you will die for, you know what I mean? Sometimes he comes in that form. Sometimes he comes, like, all right, so he, we, we can, we can, to get deeper, it's like, I know everybody got their beliefs of the Bibles, but you're supposed to use certain things from the Bible that correlate with your life. Even the Islamic people do the same thing. So it's not like the Bible's fully wrong, but it's just messages from it. So taking a message from it is saying that God has sometimes challenged the treasures of your heart. So whatever you hold heart closest to your heart, he's going to challenge that the most. If you hold this podcast to your heart so much that you don't even wake up and give God his things first, before you getting up, like, what if God locked your hands up and your voice up and said, you know what, today I ain't even going to wake you up, nigga. What if he said that? Because he has the right to say that. He could do that. Especially when we wake up and we don't even give him his, you know what I mean, give him right. his first. So we let the devil, you know what I mean, sometimes do it on our own self. When we could just, from the beginning, you know what I mean, be, be in tune with yourself. Like, be a little bit more spiritual. I tell all my friends, bro. Like, all my friends will tell you, I ain't, like... You're not the pastor, but you... I ain't the pastor, but if I, I'm the... I, I, I'm going to give you something to think about. Yeah, Because this like, is what I'm... I, yo, it's just like if it's, I put you onto a pair of sneakers or put you onto this chick, why can't I put you onto something that's going to help you better yourself? That's it. That's it. So and it's I not under, about that. I understand that clearly. And I and I understand this... None of this is by fault. Right. Like, there's plenty of other... Greater engineers and producers, there's mad other producers that's fire. There's mad other writers and all kinds of stuff. But when it's your time, it's your time. You know what I'm saying? And when it is your time, you have to be ready. You have to be spiritually in tune with yourself. I pray every day for the gift of discernment. So that way I can be able to talk to somebody in the first 10, 15 sec seconds. I know exactly where they're coming from in their heart. Because I'm going to have to deal with you regardless in the music industry. Whether I like you or not, you got to deal with certain people doing certain different things but how you deal with people matters you know what i mean counts how you how you, it deals with yourself matters if you gonna let that energy mess you up where i can't even produce for the day you know what i'm saying or you're gonna use that energy and be like oh all right i'll make 20 joints for the day off that energy it all depends on how you know what i'm saying you do but he will challenge the treasures of your heart if it's your kid or something like that so you got to be able to be spiritually in tune like listen god whatever you want i wake up every day and be like whatever you have for me 
if there's nothing going on today, then I, I ain't going to force it. You know what I mean? I thank you for everything that you've done for me already. And then sometimes, it's another thing. I know I'm running around, but it's another. these are the things I want to get off on your podcast. You know what I mean? For the talk, for, for talk people talk that's people. out there. Because, you know what I mean? You got to realize what's success to you. Mm. What is success? Like, when you come into the music industry, that's why I tell my intern. I'm like, what is success to you? Do you... Is buying a house... Cars, jewelry, and all that successful to you? You know what I mean? Is that where you want to come into your career or, you know what I'm saying? Or changing other people's lives? For me, I felt like I had to ask myself, and sometimes we got to ask ourselves this. It's like, if God took me, being that I went through tragic situations, one day my aunt's here, the next day she's not. That's my smoking partner. Like, this is my. So that showed me right then how fragile life is. You know what I mean? How we think that we got that much time and we don't. I'm gonna put off everything that you want. Nah, I'm gonna do it tomorrow, man. We don't. We might not have tomorrow. Who, who are you to say that you got tomorrow? That's true. We don't have that. So we need to do everything we need to do today. You know what I mean? Try to at least. You know what I mean? Plan out a different way. You know what I mean? So for me, I'm just like, you know, uh, what's success to you? Find out what that is because if it's just the material things, you can get that. There's plenty of people that, if that's the case, but for me, success is really changing lives. I, what would people say about you at your funeral? Mm. You feel me? My aunt never had much. She never had much. You know what I mean? She was street. She, you know what I mean? She was a good mom, but she made such an impact on people's lives after she died that she showed me who I needed to be. Fuck the accolades and all that other shit, my nigga. Are you changing people's lives? Are you literally helping people, praying people through? You know what I'm saying? Like, I have friends that go through different situations, man, with their kids. They look at me and see as a dad, and you know what I mean? They see how I move as a dad, and I try to encourage them. You know what I'm saying? I got steppers who call me crying. You know what I mean? Steppers. You know what I mean? Who call me crying like, yo, bro, I just need some encouragement, man. You know what I mean? I'm glad I could be that type of person. To me, that's success. Mm. To me, that's success. Me buying my mom teeth, that's success. Respectfully. You know what I mean? Like, certain different things to you, you got to know what's success to you. You know what I'm saying? And that's, you know what I'm saying? That, that's the difference because um, people fail to realize what you eat don't make me shit. Dude. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? So... For you to have the mentality that you have about that, everybody has their own idea of success. You know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. and, and, and you really need to check in and tap into yourself and ask yourself that, man. That's a fact. You've been very successful all around the board. And you never allowed it. I believe that success also brings peace. And when I say success, please understand, you know what you want to do. You know where the lane you want to go. Mm -hmm. That lane took you there. That's success. Now, you got to that lane. Mm -hmm. Like you said, it's tears. Where we going next? Because now, I'm going to ask you about this sneaker thing that you created. Oh, tears, man. All right, so. Cause that's another tear. Yeah, that's definitely another tear. You know A big, saying? different tear. Yeah, it's super tear, man. You know what I'm saying? And I don't, I haven't had anybody yet that has created a sneaker. You know what I'm saying? On the show, real talk. Everybody had, you know, shout out to all my designers. You know what I mean? Out there, but you the first to have a shoe, man. How? Let's talk about this shoe, man. All right. Well, yeah. Shout out to my team, who is Urbane. You know what I mean? My man, Love Peace. Uh, Urbane, I mean Michael, uh, everybody that's involved with this. This was a special thing that came up. Um, it was presented to me off of a conversation that we had, and just the overall goal of the shoe and the story of the shoe is what makes what made me fall in love with it from the beginning. Now we all know the story of the Bible. When you look under the shoe, you know you see uh, either a tree or a leaf or whatever you choose to see within you, you know what I'm saying? But it's really a leaf, you know what I mean? And in the Bible, God's highest present presence was in one of the burning bushes. I don't know if you remember the burning bushes, but yeah. it started Adam and Eve, leaves, this, that, and the third, and then the serpent, right? Devil came in, 
He made Eve do her thing, what, what have you. It caused chaos in the world. That's why we put actual rips in the front. This is chaos, right? So the serpent, which is the snakeskin that we put on there, caused chaos, but ultimately brought the whole world together. And that's what this electrifying strip from the bottom kind of means. But, you know, obviously I, we do music and music is universal language. So, you know, this sneaker represents God's highest presence. So when you walk on this, you got to be encouraged. You know what I'm saying? You got to, this ain't nothing where, I only gave this to specific people. You know what I'm saying? People who I wanted to be encouraged and I felt like was already being encouraging to other people. You know what I'm saying? So, and, 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 and just to piggyback off that, you've been an encouragement to everybody, right? So, I got something for you, man, because you don't, you know what I mean? Wow. People don't do this for you. You know what I'm saying? Wow. You you don't you don't run around and supported everybody's dreams and goals. And I haven't seen nobody give you nothing yet. You they know have, what I'm saying? I, well, I, that's just me. Hold on, I'm sorry. hold on, hold on, my man. I ain't gonna front. I got this from my. That's why I wore this today. Okay. You know what I'm saying? My man Bernard Society. I had him in the Boulevard Bistro. He blessed me with a whole outfit. This is the shirt. Shout out to him and A Butter. So they have, and that's not to, you no, know. No, 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 no. Shout out to Bernard Society, my fault. definitely, you know what I'm saying? My part of self, you know right. what I'm saying? I didn't, you know I what I mean? in front of my God, though, but no one has but, gave me no kicks. Right. You know what I'm saying? A little, little, little bit different here, you know what I mean? So, again, tree of life's, man. You know what I'm saying? Your size, they for you, man. That's my blessing to you. You know what I mean? Because you done ran around and you, you support everybody's dreams. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like... You need your flowers though too, cause you don't got too many people that's out here trying to be a voice for everybody and putting people on your platform. And you could be talking about your own shit, you know what I mean? But yet you come on and you try to encourage everybody else, and we appreciate that. I don't know if anybody else let you know that, but you appreciate. I, I appreciate it. yo. You know what Thank I'm you. saying? And we also also got some wow. more stuff for you, man. This is gift day, man. What you talking about? Man? Oh, it's love day. Yeah, it's day. love day for you. This is. Another company that I'm, I'm, I'm partnering with is Collier Blanco. You know what I mean? They have their own. It's out of based out of Baltimore. They have their own designs, clothes designs. Um, you know, different different shirts wow. and all that. So, uh, some draw. You know what I mean? This is just a little gift party pack for you, man. Because Appreciate you do that, run around and you, you know what I'm Appreciate saying? That. You know what I mean? Whatever love. you can. You know what I mean? That's that's definitely love. Let the you know what I mean? Let the folks see what you know what we doing, man. Shout out to the team, 1924. Collier Bianco, you know what I mean? The brand, make sure if you in Baltimore, stop by the store. They got some fire stuff over there, you know what I mean? But shout out to them, man. Facts, you know what I mean? We need to shoot the B more and, and have a sit down with them, man. Talk about the fact we clothing line. For sure, man. You know what I'm saying? But this is what it's about. This is what I this is what I call successful. You know what I mean? This is wow. what, 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 how you be an inspiration to other people. Nah, you know I, mean? I definitely appreciate this, King. This is a this is definitely a blessing, man. And yo, I thank you, man. I'm just here, man. I'm just nah, you know. Sure, man. Thank you. Man. I ain't gonna front without my man, the camera guy in the back. Can't forget Low, cause without him, man, this whole run would even be possible. Right. Shout out to Make you, sure y'all go check him out. Holler at him for all anything we be doing shows, anything you wanna do. Get at my guy, man, cause right. I wouldn't even be who I am. This summer without him, cause he definitely was a part of the encouragement team right. to keep this thing running. So you know, shout out to him and I thank you, man. But King, man, I mean, yo, man, it's it's a blessing, man. But I gotta really ask you, what made you want to get into this sneaker game? Cause with all the sneaker game that's going on, oh, yeah, well, I was all confidence got to be to the ceiling because you know, yeah, we live in a society. If you ain't MJ or this so Balenci yeah, and yeah, yeah, Doshi nah. and now you say, here, champ, yeah, yeah, put yeah. this on with the drip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's definitely a different wave. I just felt like I just want to invest in all my habits. I, I talk to a real, I talk to real millionaires, and, and they tell me certain little light uh, tricks to become a millionaire. You know what I mean? And the first trick is to invest in all your habits. So mm -hmm. if I buy sneakers all the time which i do you know what i mean i love sneakers i love clothes i love weed you know what i mean i love you know what i'm saying other we love, things. yeah we love you life i'm saying we so, love life you know what i mean i just felt like that was something that i um had to uh get a part of and also like i said my partner he had the sneaker 
in the vision of it already. You know what I'm saying? But it just need to. We need to do other things to, you know, what I mean, bring it all the way to life and 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 move forward. But um, just for us having that conversation and that dialogue with him, and um, you know, it just it just it just brought me in. You know what I mean? And like I said, I just invested in all my habits, and we sold over three hundred. I sold over three hundred pairs of sneakers. So far. now, where can they find them at? You can't. I gotta find you. you. Feel me? That's the fact. I gotta find you. Everybody ain't gonna have those. Everybody can't. And I got the white ones coming springtime. It, we were supposed to have it this spring, but you know what I mean? A lot it's of different weird. things going on. This is not just shirts being pressed up. I'm sorry, per, well, respectfully. You know what I mean? These are, you know what I mean? Per mold. You understand what I'm saying? So, seven, you gotta understand what we're doing here. It's not just, it's a lot of people that I still owe sneakers to. You know mm. what I mean? That support it. That sent money, you know what I mean? That still didn't get their sneaker. They've been waiting, you know what I mean? But they understand the process with this. It's not just, you know what I mean, something you could just do overnight. Right. This should take time, samples, talking to factories, getting pairs back. It's, it's a lot going on. Now, you know how many mean? years in the making? Like um, The shoe yeah. so far? I think we about maybe close to three years now. Because okay. I've seen you out popping around, dropping them off. Yeah, to yeah, a lot yeah. of artists. Yeah, yeah. And shout I saw, out, and I saw the warrant. Yo, they loved it. Like mm -hmm. I ain't gonna. Yo, the, the thing that was so dope when I was watching you hand them out. Mm -hmm. Yo, cats was like, yo, yo, we got a sneaker. Yeah. yeah. Yo, and that gotta be that feeling when, yo, we talking to. I'm not gonna put names out there, but I done seen some of the the motherfucker I nigga. Yo, nigga, like, mm -hmm. that gotta be a warm feeling. Cause like you said, you changed. Yo, that's come on, champ. Yo, let's yeah. let's be honest. How many of us, at this point in our lives, are creating these type of things? Not, and this ain't a knock to nobody, but to get out here, to go out here and just say, you know, I'm putting this, yo, this sneaker game is so retarded. Mm -hmm. Like, everybody wants to have that kick, but to say, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to have my own kick. It's a fact. Yo, it got to be, like, one of another tier. It definitely was. In, I mean, in, in your catalog, it got to go up there in the banners. Like, I got a sneaker. Like, you yeah. can hang the jersey up. Let's hang. <laughs> yo, throw my sneakers up on the on the light pole. Nah, that's a fact. I, I'm super proud of it. Again, I I don't take all the credit for it because I do have partners with it. You know what I mean? And they brought me the idea of it and everything on. So we work together to make this whole thing possible. You know what I mean? It's like they're Adidas. I'm Yeezy. Yeah, but you, you know didn't even try to be like nobody else. I think exactly kinda... that's the difference. Even with this shoe, I see a lot of shoes being remaked. No shade to them, cause I love them. Love the cars. I love all of them. You know what I'm saying? But this is a completely new design. Like literally, this is not me going to get a Jordan, and you know what I'm saying? Like this really had like this is real design. Like real, real work. But also you know the concept saying? behind it, and it's a story behind it. This is not just that. That's what I'm saying. That's why I didn't even want everybody in the sneaker, cause everybody don't understand. Everybody don't have that energy, the highest energy. The only people who got it is the ones who show me the energy. Any, you walk in and you show me this energy. I, you wasn't planning to get a sneaker today. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the energy that I got from you, and I asked Big Bro if he, what was his size? Cause if I had, I got, I would. If this was his size, he could have had those. You know right. what I'm saying? So it was like, it's just off of energy. You know? I don't do none of this to boast. Yeah, it's a banner. That's, that's amazing. Money. But I'm trying to like set the bar. And I want people, again, to when, they, when you come to my field. Stop using the word try. You striving. Striving. I'm I'm doing. Every, I tell everybody that. I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? But when I finish doing, you know what I'm saying? I want people to look at it and be like, nah. Nah, rah. Changed the game with a lot of different things, but and he helped me. Son. For sure, my he dad, got my dad yeah. created his own sneaker. That's right, that's right. And and we have the babies coming as well. You just brought that out, but we'll drop that here live on the Roundtable podcast. We got the toddlers coming in a minute, so get ready for that, man. You know what I mean? Right now we on the ladies. You know what I mean, ladies? We got your pairs, men's. We pretty much sold out. I probably got a couple more pairs, but I'm going to save those for a couple of special people. But for the ladies, we got a couple more pairs. If you didn't get a pair, reach out to me or my man, 
Hit me, holla at me at the you round table on these sides. We we will put it together we for you. you a size it's not a problem, man. You know what I mean? Yo, King. Now we done did the top. That's another tier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where do we go from here? Your man's home. Can't feel Mr. Can't feel my face. Mr. Can't feel my face. The Mr. music I is can't feel my face. Is at an all time high. Yeah, he, he working, he back working, man. He How does that feel outside. for you, though? Because that's your man. Um, Joel's, me and Joel's definitely got a, a real relationship. And it's not just like... Come in and just be an engineer. Yeah, be. yeah it's not just record here. You know what I mean? We we talk, we, you know what I mean? We dialogue. Like, I can literally drop my son off at his crib. You know what I mean? Mom, you know, like, it's pure, truly love. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's super important when you're dealing with a lot of A-list artists. It's not just going in there being fanned out or just always recording. You know what I mean? It's a certain level of respect, too. Right, you know what I'm saying? And then also, I've been him before that. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect at all, you know what I'm saying? But like you said, we already had plaques. You know what I'm saying? Prior to... But I knew Joel since I was like super, 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 super young. Shout out to my uncle, uh, Kareem Cyrus. You know what I mean? Remo. He the one who really brought me when I was young. You know what I mean? Around Joel at his highest. You know what I mean? Kept bringing me around. Kept bringing me around. I seen that. And then once I became... Got to my... You know what I mean? I came back home. It, it made sense. You know what I mean? And I've been an asset. And you know what I mean? Ever since. You know what I mean? So, I'm proud of my man for what he's doing. Um, Joel's, I'm proud of everything they got going on, man. You know what I mean? And I always support it. And he got some hot, we got some great music about to drop. Um, Y'all working. Working. You know what I'm saying? As he say, we in motion. We in motion. But, I, you know, the reason why I touched on it because when I heard the music, and I heard you, and, I, and I, you played it, I saw your facial. I seen your expression. Like, I seen, like, your, my man. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, like wow, he was like yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you know what mm -hmm. I mean. And once again, that's changing, touching people's lives again. You know what right. I'm saying? Sitting back, doing what y'all do together, making that history, making those moments, man. Mm -hmm. You your list can go on and go on, but honestly, man, what's what's that one baby for you, man? What's that that besides your main king? Mm -hmm. What's that other like? I'm this is this is dear to me. And it could be anything. It don't have to be a plot. Um, but what's that one thing for you? You know what I'm saying? Musically? Yo, you know whatever what you want. You know what? We gonna th Let's do music first. All right, musically, what's that one thing for me? Um, it might just be, you know, that the, 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 the chains plaque thing because it's just, it's bigger than that, like, it really ain't nothing too, too much because of the idea and the concept of where I came from, from it, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Then I was able to get my mom a plaque and present her a plaque in church, in front of the church people. So you know how that that feeling was the, that's the most, I think that's the most feeling, the greatest feeling. It wasn't even, that's not the plaque on my wall, it's the plaque on my mother's wall. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the feeling that made it, you know what I'm saying, the most for me is because she found her sister. You dig what I'm saying? In that capacity. She raised me. We went through, we slept on floors. Like, we really trapped out of the same house together. She was, she had me at 19. You dig what I'm saying? I'm, you know what I mean? Like, she did everything she possibly can. She put me in church. She, you know what I mean? So, I felt like, even in church, you know what I mean? Presenting her that in front of her bishops and her, her colleagues. And it was a hip-hop song. And it was a trap song in church. And they honoring it in church. My grandma. This was the, this was another thing. Her and her sister, they walked past. My uh, my cousin walked past the room and they was listening to the. Mind you, my song was called OG Kush Died. It's a weed song. My grandma's 70. Well, her sister is 80. They in the room listening to OG Kush Diet. The only trap song she ever listened to in her life. She's super... South, church, we don't listen to that. Turn that. You right. know what I mean? But the fact of I produced it and her and her sister was in the room listening to 2 Chainz trap drink. I can't really like, 
that to me, I don't care if I get a if I don't get another place, that, which God forbid, you know what I mean? Right, right. Whatever. I understand where you coming from, but that, that alone right there solidified a lot for me because it was and like your family and my family. For real, you know once I mean? again, your young king and my, my dad son got a pair of sneakers, and he's looking at black. plaques up there on the wall. You know what I'm saying? And and it's showing him that you know what I I can be something. You know what I mean? He's into music now without selling my soul, without selling your soul, without being a sucker. You know what I'm saying? Not forgetting your essence, not forgetting your essence, being who you are. You know what I mean? Like being cool and not getting caught up in this hype. I'm not getting caught up in the hype because people get caught up in the hype, bro. Yeah, fast. You know what now, I mean? um, you got a young artist from Inglewood. Absolutely. Sanaya Jewel. I'm following her. Please tell them where to Make sure y'all follow Sanaya Jewel at Sanaya Jewel, one word, one word, um, 16, super phenomenal. Um, I'm super proud of her and what she's accomplished so far. Um, i seen... I seen the stardust in her since she was like, mind you, me and her mom went to school together, high school, graduated together. So she was, her mom was pregnant in high school when we was together. So I, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a different thing with me and Sanaya, you know what I mean? And she's super, super talented. Um, she has super great amount of support behind her and she's lit already. I ain't even gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? She, she will got be a on the show. She will be on the show. We're going to get on the show so she can have her own interview. I was going to have her here, but, you know, we are in school time. Um, and, you know, but for the most part, she's going to do it. She's going to have her own show um, here on the podcast. So she go through her own thing. But she's lit. She's, she's lit. On way. You, you, got, you got one there, kid. Like, she's on her way. Like, her way. how is that energy when you producing that music with her? You know what I'm saying? Like, because y'all got that thing. Mm -hmm. Y'all got that it factor. You know what I'm saying? And when I was sitting there watching, the, you know, and I'm like, wow. Mm -hmm. But I'm watching her smile. But I'm watching your smile. I'm watching everybody. Like, the room is lit up with, yo, this is... You know what what, what she does this for me? This is magic. Nah, it, it, it truly is. And what she does for me is, like, she brings back the love of music. Of where I, why I try to do it in the beginning. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, where it came from in the beginning is, like, I... Once you become, and this is why I said last time, it's like once you become, people work to get in the music industry, now you got to sustain yourself. It becomes a job. It don't, sometimes you might not love it. You got to deal with paperwork, this, that, and dirt. Mm -mm -mm. Back in the day, you were just making beats. You just love it just to be just making beats. Now, you got to pay your rent off of this. Then the check don't come, the wire don't come. You don't sent beats and stems out. You like, yo, this shit pissing me off, man. Like, you know what I mean? It started getting to that point, you know what I mean? To that point with you. But with her, she just gives me another 10 years in the music game. You know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. just in general. You know what I mean? Like, I, it got to a point of working with all the big artists. This, that, and it became a job. In which I love the job. But she's talented. Let's be clear. And she's beyond talented. She's talented. So it's not like you in here tweaking or just... Yeah, that was another thing. I thought that I had to start from ground zero. You know what I mean? Coming in here, well, she's beyond just like me. Just like how I was. She's beyond her time. Obviously, you know, singers, you have to work on your singing. You go through the process. It's not like a rapper. A rapper, you can put a chain on, say two or three ad-libs. Hey, 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 put him on some 808s, he might pop. He might just pop them all. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, for this real. Day and time, man. In this day and time, put him on the 808, do a little dance, go viral. You might pop. You might pop. Do some dumb shit on the, on the internet. You might go viral. For R&B, it's totally different. You, you know gotta I mean? basically sing your heart out to let the to go have, viral. You have to let people see who your personality, who you is already. You know what I mean? We have a video that she's about to drop. We shot two videos. You know what I mean? One video, it's called Dreams. She's about to drop that all over, you know, anywhere you can get it. We're gonna probably, it's probably a Vivo, Apple Music, everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Um, but... That kind of shows her personality. I want people to love her for who she is first. Because her music going to be fire regardless. And she's from right here. And she's from the city. You cannot not. If, like, and she's 16. Anything else, it might be hate. So but, when, but let me ask you though. I know you and her mother was fly. Mm -hmm. But when, you know, just because you and her mom were fly, you know, yo, my daughter got talent. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Like, 
how did that come like like yo rob i think we i got did it no i did it like i over the years i've always said this to her mom gonna come up here and say the same thing it's like yo she would do the inglewood idol do something sing the star spangled banner somewhere and i'm like yo get the paperwork ready i was playing but i was not playing I'm like yo get the paperwork ready she she a star she a star then it got to a point where I think I seen her do something or sing somewhere, somewhere, and I was like, oh, no. Nah. And I reached out to T. We had a whole meeting. I had to let it be known who I am. This ain't no R. Kelly shit going on here. You know what I mean? Like, that shit could get misconstrued like that ass. No disrespect to my man R. You know what I mean? The greatest songwriter of, of all times, but I don't want people to get that misconstrued. In this music game, you have a lot of creeps. You really do. And to put for somebody to put their trust in you with your daughter, I want people to have that trust with my company. I don't, I can't speak for other people, right. but we specialize in that. I lost two girls. I, I could never take advantage of anybody. You know right. what I mean? Let alone a, a female. You know what I'm saying? So for me, that was the most. You know what I mean? Us having that initial meeting, having that, that ice breakthroughs, figuring out what they need, what I can do. You know what I mean? And now we here. We have a whole game plan. We have whole rollouts. She have several meetings, big label meetings. You know what I mean? How many that, years in the making has this been? This has been three months. What? This has been three months. Ninety days. Ninety days. And she done like she. We done did three festivals so far in Inglewood. In Inglewood, got one coming up. Let's talk about that. She, well, she, she just she just performed that one. That was okay. the fourth festival. She did the um, Teaneck Music Arts Festival. Um, and then she also did the first annual Caribbean Fest in Depot Square. Right. So her first three shows are all festivals. Haven't did a local show yet. I'm not saying that we ain't gonna do it, but it, you can just tell where it's gonna go. Right. You know what I mean? You can see the stardust on certain people. They have stardust on them, and they just need to be activated. So. Wow. That's dope. She's man. activated right and she now. got two videos dropping. You said two videos dropping. Um. She done cut over 20, 30 songs. She writing herself too. That was like, my next question. She writes. Yes. Yeah, I mean, you but did, you did all production? I, I go, yes, I do majority of the production, but I as a producer, I don't want to do all the production. You know what I mean? I go and get some of my friends who are fire at what they do too. You know what I mean? Right. Billboard producers, platinum producers, and bring them in too. It shouldn't have to be just me. Like a real producer knows that. You right. know what I mean? I don't want just her sound to be me. You know what I mean? We'll get to that point where it's like, you know what I mean? But we got a bunch of stuff together, but I, I also bring in other people as well. Other songwriters as well. Did, did you got a rap on one of her joints? Did y'all think about doing one of those yet? We got a couple of records that we need um, a couple of people. And we got a couple of, you know what I mean, a couple of... She rapped on, 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 on two of them already. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, literally, she really rapped too. You know what I mean? But... Um, as far as the features is concerned, we we working on that. You okay. know what I'm saying? We okay. working on it. It's okay. super early. It's three, four months in right yeah, now. Yeah, but uh, she, the way she, she done took fire. off. You exactly. know what I mean? It's like, yo, you, get, you don't miss the train. Exactly. You know what exactly. I'm saying? King, man. I'm going to ask you a question, man. Just want a little, we're going to play a little wordplay on this, man. Life. Mm. Life. Where mm. you at in five years? Where I'm at in five years? With life. With life. Um, five years. Again, I, I said this last five years ago, right? I recorded myself saying that I want to be an inspiration. I want to be selfless. I want to help people get to where they need to be. This is what I said five years ago. And today, I'm kind of doing that, right? Five years now, I want to change lives completely. Mm. It's one thing to help people get it. You know what I mean? And then you're struggling still. You know what I mean? Like, I want to change people's lives completely. I want to open up more doors for people. I want to employ people. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have many different um, foundations that I'm working with. Endless River um, Incorporated is a, my, my guy EJ. Uh, he has a, a, a foundation where it's specialized in inner city kids who um, have creative minds and we support them and we put them in studios we right, you know what i mean um put them around different things if they need scholarships and if they need certain different we will it's just for the inner city kids who truly want to do music that's right. coming up we never had that and you know what i mean that's something that um i got behind him with um 
I have another foundation, saving my, uh, saving our daughters. I, it was with my mom. We're rebuilding a safe house for for domestic violence victims mm. on behalf of my aunt and my baby cousin right, because right. we want to show that most of the time people be in situations that they can't get out of. And we don't even know that they're in them. And you don't even know that they're in them. You know what I'm saying? Because they'd be so scared. So we want to be able to give a place of comfort where you can come and get your life together. Mm. You know what I mean? You can get it together. You got my kids. You had this, that. You have a support system place there. You know what I mean? So we working on that. Um, again, I should have several pairs of sneakers out. My white pairs. Um, we was we was offered. You know what I'm saying? The offer came through. Oh, the offer came through. So you know what I mean? That offer came through. In five years, we be Gucci Bonnie. You know what I mean? So <laughs> um, that um, another thing. I want to be a better dad. You know what I'm saying? That's so that was my important. that was my other question. Your yeah. son. That's that's my main main goal. Everything that I'm doing here is giving all my everything is for him. You know what I'm saying? Like that's my main, main, main focus. That's my dog, that's my road partner, that's who I do it for. You know what I mean? So I wanna do that. Um I have a book coming out, um, that I'm almost done with. Some screenplay we working on, um, artists, bunch of artists. I'm looking for Maybe one or two more artists, you know what I mean, I'll take on. I don't want to be a company that has a bunch of artists. You right. can't really focus right, on right, a bunch right. of, you have this, that, this, this. Like, no, give me one, two, three that I can really focus on and go hard and use all my resources. Um, another five years, I'll probably be an executive somewhere also, you know what I'm saying, most likely, or working with one of the top executives to help change lives. Um, I got a bunch of stuff, man. I, 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 I built a... You, you cooking? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got a couple got of a, placements. Got a gumbo pot. Yep, I got a couple of placements on the way. Shout out to my man Saha. We working on his album. Um, shout out to Akbar V. You know what I mean? Her album is on the way. Shout out to my man Trap. NY is my man, uh, NY is my Trap. He just we just he just signed with Joel's. Um, Joel's album on the way. Um, Styley album on the way, um, All American season four. Make sure you tune into that. You know what I'm saying? Um, Revolt. I got a placement on Revolt. Betty Black. Um, mm. I did the intro to that. It's a lot of different things happening. You know what I'm saying on that side. Um, my interns, man, they should be graduating. I'm looking forward to that. Um, got a bunch of stuff, man. A bunch of stuff, man. Working with some of the schools. I'm working with my college. Shout out to my professor. Mac Brandon, um, we work on my to build a little program, internship program where I can help some of the college kids there. You know what I mean? Find, get their college credits. Right. You know what I mean? Working, intern, or what have you. Um, bunch of stuff, man. I could just run it down all yeah, day. Yeah, well, man. you did enough. Lie. Cause truthfully, at the end of the day, champ, <laughs> that list is long. It's gonna keep getting longer and longer. Um, yo, let the people know. You know what I'm saying? Where they can find you at, get in contact with you. You know what I mean? Because, you know, our listeners and somebody might be watching that want to reach out, man. Let them know where they can find you. Um, I'm I'm on the gram. At Mr. Sampson. M-R-S-A-M-P-S-O-N. Um, holla at me. I'm cool. You know what I mean? But re realistically, I, I, I really want people who are serious about the situation. You know what I'm saying? Uh, serious about their craft. Invest in their craft because clearly I invest in mine. So if you don't, if we don't have the same energy, it kind of be hard. A lot of people want things as a handout. If you don't beat me to the studio, you know what I'm saying, and being here sweating in with us, you know what I mean, this, that, and the third, it, sometimes, like, it, at this point in time right now, I can only, like, Help those who want to help themselves right, for right, real, right. for real. This ain't, you know no, I mean? this ain't no hop skipping. This ain't no jump. hobby. This ain't no hop skipping right. the jump. We not just getting started here. This is like actual career mode. This is actual work mode, and we don't we take this serious. I put people through the gauntlet. Engineers, I make I can make you better. You know what I'm saying? You want to go through? I might have a course soon for some of my engineers. You know what I'm saying? Who need to learn efficiency, know certain things. People know how to. Probably record on Fruity Loops or Logic, but when you get to Pro Tools, that's different. You don't have no Pro Tools skills, and, and, and for this industry, you need to have Pro Tools skills. That's standard, you know what I mean? So we're going to develop a course for that, for people who, even if you want to record yourself at home, 
shit. You know what I mean? Like, right, right. you still need to learn how to record, but a lot of times people just don't take advantage until until it's all over or something. And then like, I could have. Yeah, I should have, could have. Yo, you heard it first, man. So. My man Ra, platinum producer, sneaker, creator, hit maker, heat maker, hustler, grinder, father. That's right. Mentor. That's right. Godson. That's right. That's how right. all good. He's in the building, man. It's the Roundtable Podcast, man. I'm blessed. My man Rob is behind the camera doing what he do. Yo, I'm the voice of the culture. You know what it is. This is a this is a very spiritual, you know what I'm saying, episode right here because a lot of us don't always get a chance to talk about our personal b beliefs. And we did today. We just shared on who we are and what we are. And all three of us in here are all spiritual men. You know what I'm saying? And we all know that without God, we wouldn't be where we at today. And we're blessed right. and we're grateful and we're thankful. And I'm blessed to be in this building with these two brothers today because inspiration is everything. And sometimes being around great company, man, it inspires you to be great. And that's just a message, man. That's it is fact. what it is. It's the Roundtable Podcast. You know what it is. The voice of the coach. I'm out of here with my man, Rob. One. Peace.